chemotherapy has been shown based on the charted and stampede trials to be associated with a very significant survival benefit. In fact, the hazard ratios suggested um, at least a 30 to 40 percent improvement in overall survival with the addition of docetaxel chemotherapy within the first four months of starting androgen deprivation therapy and newly diagnosed metastatic sen hormone sensitive prostate cancer. This is a paradigm shift in this disease. We used to only use ADT in these patients and of course patients would typically progress after a year or two on average. Uh, now we're seeing with these uh, two trials that in fact their survival can be extended by as much as uh, 14 to 20 months, which is really profoundly longer. So this has changed the way we treat hormone-sensitive metastatic prostate cancer in my practice, and I think it's really changed the international standard of care. In other words, patients who present like this case uh, with the newly diagnosed metastatic prostate cancer should not just receive androgen deprivation therapy, but they should be offered docetaxel chemotherapy. Six cycles of docetax are typically given without prednisone, which is different from the way this drug is used in CRPC. And um, of course, you have to discuss the pros and cons, but this patient is a very appropriate candidate for that approach. One of the considerations with a patient with metastatic disease is, should you consider local therapy? Local therapy, of course, means surgery or radiation therapy. In fact, we have historically not done such a thing because most of the patients in the past were considered to have metastatic disease, and what's the point of taking out the prostate or radiating the prostate? I think our thinking on this is evolving. There is increasing amounts of evidence, although no randomized data, that suggests that treating the primary site is associated with additional benefit. Historically, we would normally do radiation, for example, if the patient had bleeding or excessive pain or obstruction, uh, for example, urinary obstruction. Uh, but in truth, in the last few years, we've been thinking maybe we need to take care of the primary site. Maybe the primary site is a source for continued metastasis. And by radiating, or even in some very functional patients, removing the prostate, we might in fact improve survival. There was a very intriguing study published in the European Urology about a year and a half ago, which suggested that men who had metastatic prostate cancer, who had surgery, in fact, live longer than metastatic prostate cancer patients who are treated more traditionally. That doesn't prove that surgery or radiation improves survival, but ongoing randomized trials are starting to investigate this very interesting possibility.